Hey folks, welcome back to Cooking with Master Guns. On today's episode, we're going to be making something quick and simple, yet very tasty. We're going to be doing a homemade chicken salad, utilizing some of the things that we have left over. Stay tuned and enjoy the show. You are now looking with the master. Gun. This is all of the ingredients that we're going to use. Um, we have some leftover rotisserie chicken that I'm gonna cube up really, really small. Uh, we have our seasonings. I'm using Lowry seasoned salt with a little bit of uh, black pepper, all right? Um, we're gonna chop up some celery and some scallions. Now these, these two vegetables, we're gonna chop them up nice and very, very fine, all right? And then we're gonna mix everything with our mayonnaise and our mustard. And then if we need to put a little bit more of pepper, We'll do that. We'll do that at the end. Also, you can add dry cranberries if you like, but you don't have to. All right. So here we go. All right. We're going to start up by chopping our celery. that on our bowl. Now we're going to chop up our scallions. We're going to start off by chopping off the little heads off. We're giving them a haircut. We won't use those. But from here, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the celery. That's just going to give the, the overall salad some nice contrast and colors. Because these are all just my measurements. You can always add a little bit or take off some. Now, to the start of the show. This is some leftover rotisserie chicken that we had from a, a couple nights ago. It's cold, so it's easier to chop up. So we're gonna start off by cutting some of these joints. I usually don't use the, the wings. But you can warm, you can rewarm those up. But I have here the breast, and I just separated it. And we're gonna chop these up very, very fine. You can leave the skin if you want to and chop it up as well. Just gives it a little more flavor, but it's up to you. And I use the entire chicken. Different meat, not just white meat, gives it different flavors, a little more flavor. Bowl. 
like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use the the skin as well. It's all gonna get mixed in anyway. We got more, more breast over here. And here we go, we have all our ingredients chopped off. We have our chicken, we have our celery, we have our scallions, two tablespoons of mustard, our one tablespoon of lowery salt with a little bit of pepper, two cups of mayonnaise. All right, so now it's all about mixing and mixing well. So we'll start off with our chicken. Start off with our celery. Our scallions. Our mustard. So I have two tablespoons of mustard. Once everything's done, I might put just a tiny bit more and our two cups of mayo same thing with the mayo I'm starting out with two cups of mayo but if it's too dry I'll put in a little bit more and we'll sprinkle some of our seasoning and we'll start mixing Nope, I can already tell that the two cups of mayo is perfect for this. Let's add the rest of our seasoning salt. Now, to prep it. I like to use croissants. Some people like to use regular white Wonder Bread to make sandwiches. For presentation and for taste, I just like the croissants. So, let's go ahead and make yourselves some croissant sandwiches. So we're gonna take these croissants, just slice them down the middle. Spill some. There we go. All right, now for the best part of the video the taste test. The mayonnaise, the crunchiness from the celery and the scallions mixing in with the chicken. Awesome taste. That Lowry salt, that's a game changer right there. <clears throat> the best part about this is I'm eating it with croissants, but you can eat it with crackers. You can eat it with Wonder Bread. You can eat it by itself. And it's so easy and fast to make. You can eat it for a meal or you can eat it for a snack. So, hmm. Again, delicious. 
That about does it for today's cook. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the smash buttons. Subscribe for more upcoming videos. And again, until next time, hurrah, Semper Fi.